Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News for Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. Stranded travelers are finally moving again on portions of I-70 between Silverthorne and Denver. Starting around noon today, CDOT did open segments of I-70 for semi-trucks only. Hundreds of them were parked on ramps and roadsides between Silverthorne and Morrison, waiting out the storm. And now CDOT is saying 90 miles of I-70 will remain closed to commercial vehicles until noon tomorrow from the Morrison exit east to the Vale area west. It's been a rowdy and frustrating 24 hours for anyone traveling east or south. Last night, a summit stage bus slid off Hoosier Pass between Alma and Blue River. No one was injured. This morning, two semi-trucks were stalled at the first big switchback just south of Blue River, the headlight house. They are gone now. Snow has been falling almost all day in the foothills and the metro area. The deepest snow hammered areas between Georgetown and Genesee, 33 inches in Nederland, 36 inches in Rollinsville and Conifer, over 38 inches just north of Central City. Social media is brimming with chatter about the, all the road drama. On Hoosier Passers, Liz writes, the pass is eating a lot of cars today. On the Crystal 93 Facebook page, Cammie says this is proof that no one watches the weather alerts. Jason says he tried to warn his tenants about driving today, but they went to Keystone anyway on radial tires. Says Ken, now living in Colorado Springs, I don't miss it. This storm did stretch south. Over two feet of snow at Cripple Creek, a foot in Manitou Springs, six to eight inches for Colorado Springs. A special avalanche warning will be good through tomorrow afternoon from Summit County East into Berthoud Pass and the foothills. Here's the CAIC. Dense snow falling rapidly and strong easterly winds are creating very dangerous avalanche conditions. Expect many avalanches to break within storm snow. Some avalanches will break on deeper weak layers and propagate widely across terrain features. Avalanches may run long distances or to valley floors. Many will run naturally. Travel on avalanche terrain is not recommended at this time. Avalanche danger here and on the Continental Divide will likely be high tomorrow at all elevations, considerable from Copper West into Vale. Arapahoe Basin never did open today after 15 inches of fresh, and they're hoping to open tomorrow. On Instagram, they are pleading with skiers and riders, please do not attempt to come to A Basin until we post an all clear. Loveland was also closed today. They too are hoping to reopen tomorrow. And in local sports, Summit High Sports will be back in action tomorrow. They've got lacrosse and the track team. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.